Okay, so we are on. So, okay, thank you so much for joining us. This is our um, another week of visiting different routes around Central Oregon. Um, the program is called Accessible Routes, and um, I am just featuring different areas um, around town that, that are gonna be more approachable for, for all people. And, um, and I am here today at Riley Ranch. We're gonna check out some of the features here at Riley Ranch. This is a, a really awesome historical nature preserve that is located um, on the northwest side of town. And it's tucked away in a little neighborhood, which is awesome, but then you really do feel like you're kind of in, in um, way far out of town, even though you're only about a mile. Um, and it's tucked away off of Obi Riley Road and connects to Tumalo through the lower trails, but we're gonna just explore some of the upper trails that are above um, the canyon today. So I'm gonna flip around my screen and show you where I'm at. I'm at the parking area. And um, we're gonna just kind of take a look at some of the features that are here so that, um, and the amenities that are available at this park. So I'm gonna start, first start here with parking. We've got two, um, two accessible parking areas, one that is van accessible. And as you can see, it is across from the kind of trailhead entryway. So nice, smooth, kind of short, short distance to um, some informational kiosks over here. And then I'm also gonna scan this way too. So here is also, there is an accessible restroom. It is a pit toilet um, and no running water. So that is something to to um, kind of remember while you're here is that there is no running water. So you will want to bring your own supply and kind of st can't come stock with your own things. I did see the parks. Um, coming up to the area. Um, I'm going to scan here. So we covered that there is no water, there are restrooms, um, accessible parking, and all pretty close to the trailhead. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of scan here. This is what the the of the trail looks like. Um, and then See it kind of starts going out that way. I'm also going to do another 360 and keep standing over here. There is some, it was just a little picnic area, pretty rustic. Um, in here is kind of grass feeling a very natural, um, not a lot of, of um, just all, everything, you know, it's kind of blends in with the landscape here. Um, we do also have benches to kind of hang out with here while you're waiting for your parties to come. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to switch this to like my landscape view so you can see a little bit more procession um so slow 360 i'm here at the entrance and i am going to start walking down the trail so um some things to note when you come and visit riley ranch is it is a nature preserve and because of that they are pretty strict um there are no dogs allowed at this at this ranch or this nature preserve mostly just to prevent um, any kind of disturbance to wildlife. And um, also cycling is, is um, not allowed here. It's, it's only um, pedestrians um, to be on the trails, hikers and, and that sort of thing. So um, no, no bicycles, although mobility devices are, are um, absolutely encouraged. So that's another really cool thing about this area is that um, it is a beautiful area where you do feel like you're kind of out of town, um, but it still has some really great accessibility options. Um, there are a few different loops that are connected to the, um, the, the nature preserve. The first one is about a little over the, a half a mile, and that's this first loop that we're going to hop on. It's the Juniper Loop. And then there, there's a longer one about a little over a mile, and it's called the Sage um, the Sage loop and um yeah you'll we'll kind of go explore those um and then as you see here there's lots of people out today so we've got runners and people doing fitness loops and just coming to get a little fresh air and um 
do, do a little walking. And then um, taking a look kind of at the, the surface, it's relatively flat. We've got some crushed um, gravel and really, really wide um, paths. And then as you can see here, this is kind of our, our crux. So um, we're gonna hop on the juniper loop um, and maybe continue on to the, the sage flat loop. Um, and here we go. So this is really cool. I'm, last time I was out here, I saw some, some um, a, group, a big group of deer, and I can imagine we get some elk moving through here as well, if we're so lucky. I don't know if we'll see any of that today, but um, it's, it's a really cool area, and um, I think there's a lot, gonna be a lot of opportunities for, for wildlife viewing if you do come out here. As I said, you can see where it does feel like we're, you know, kind of out, out way outside of town, but really we're, we're only a few blocks away. So um, it's just kind of a cool little nook of, um, on the, like I said, on the northwest corner of town. So if you haven't checked it out, you, you should definitely come out here. And um, also pretty great, we do have, there's lots of benches, kind of viewing benches and places to rest, maybe take in um, what's surrounding you. So we've got, I think on this loop, three places to rest. So um, it's kind of a great option to, to know that that's there. And, and um, yeah, you can really, really take your time while you're out here. And the pace is just, it's really nice to know that like, kind of, it's not like a really, I mean, it is a high traffic area, but it's everyone's kind of enjoying the peacefulness of the area. So it's not too, too wild out here. Um, and yeah, so let's see what else is going on. Um, it's kind of cool because it's a, it's, we're right, you can't, you can't really see them right now. It's a little cloudy today and it was cloudy the last time I was here, but um, once we get open back, out to like the open grassland area. There is some beautiful views of the mountain. Um, all along the path, there, there are like interpretive posts and signs and kiosks. So um, if you're interested in like the history or the what, am, like what wildlife you might see out here, there is some opportunities for, for learning along this path as well. Um, I can, right now I can hear some birds chirping. I'm not much of a birder and we've been talking a lot about um, the different wildlife on our backyard naturalist every Wednesday with Matt Porter. So um, if you haven't had a chance to, to visit us or, or join that, that um, that's another Zoom meeting that we do and um, maybe we could pair those together someday, come out and, and visit um, one of our local trails and, and see and listen for the different birds that we, that we have. Um, Gosh. So right now I'm kind of, it's like I said, it's all relatively flat. I'm, talking to, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the features of the trail. Um, surface is flat. We have a very minimal cross slope. So people using a mobility device, um, this should be relatively smooth to move through. And um, yeah, and it's not, there's not much of a hills on this, this smaller juniper loop. It's all relatively flat so kind of easy to continue um yeah it's just kind of it's just a nice stroll through through a nature reserve um that whole first area um we had a lot of kind of sage and juniper now we're going to be moving through more of open grassland um area and that's where we're going to hop on that that larger sage loop and you can kind of see between two a, a T up here or a crossroads. Um, and maybe we might even see some peaks of the mountain when we come around the corner. But so that is the first, I would say third of that smaller loop. Um, and you can see there's, I'm gonna kind of scan here. There is an option so we can see some more of those kiosks over there. Um, with some more interpretive information about the area so it's kind of fun to explore and and as you're as you're going through kind of learn a little bit more about the area and then um yeah let's 
let's maybe go a little bit further this way and then I can come back and we can do the shorter route. But I want to show everyone a little bit more of what the trail looks like if we continue to go down through the sage, um, sage flat loop. So big open grassland, that's where I saw a lot of um, herds of deer last time. So super cool. And they um, were munching in all, all of the, the sage and the grass out there. Um, I'm gonna kind of as we go through this loop, there is a little bit more grade. Um, here we go, another contemplation and reflection bench. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's it's a little bit um, has a little bit more hills, but it's really cool. Once we get to the end or to the opposite end of this loop, there is a really really beautiful lookout. Um, over the, the Deschutes River Canyon. And I think that's what's so cool about this trail in particular is that we kind of start off in this woodland, you know, Juniper Woodlands area, and we get to kind of go through a whole, a different, you know, all, a few different landscapes. Um, we may not make it out to that, that um, River Canyon, but I think that it's something that might be a good tease for, for come, having people come out and explore it themselves. Um, so, well, we might make it out there. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is kind of the, the, another crux point. So I'm going to do another scan. Um, this is that big juniper flat. You can see, I think that's Aubrey Butte that we're looking at. So, um, if you're familiar about where that is in town, we're on the opposite side. Um, and I'm sorry, that is the connection trail to the juniper loop. I, that must have been a, that was a, another viewing point that we saw earlier. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really big, open, beautiful area. We've got lots of people walking and I'm going to actually let this group pass me so I don't disturb their, um, their walk. Um, so yeah, so it's a really big, open, beautiful area. There's, I think, a total of four viewpoints that you can go to, um, one that kind of looks into the, the juniper flat that we were just at, one that looks over um, the canyon, um, which we haven't gotten to yet. And then another one that, that looks over the grassland and um, on it from a higher perspective, so you can kind of see the whole ranch. And then a the last one that looks up, upstream um, and has a little bit more, you know, view of the river below. So, um, Another thing to note, let's see. Does anybody have any questions about this area if they haven't been here before or maybe interested in coming, what would be interesting for them to know or maybe important for them to know before they arrive? Haley, this is Matt. I have a couple questions for you. Sure, I'm, I'm having a hard time hearing you. You may have to speak up just a little bit. Okay, no problem. Um, I was curious, first of all, um, did you mention the hours of the park? I might have missed that. Oh, you know, I didn't. Um, I, I believe the hours of the park are from sunrise to sunset. So okay. um, kind of varying depending on, on um, time of year. Right. And then I was curious, how deep is that gravel that's on the path there? Just out of curiosity. Oh, thanks for asking. Yeah. So the, the depth of the gravel, gosh, I would say like a, just a couple millimeters. It's pretty hard packed. So, um, and, it's and it's crushed gravel. So it's really... Um, like I'm wearing pretty soft tennis shoes right now and it's not really difficult for me. To, I mean, I feel like I'm, um, it's easy for me to have grip with my, I have a pretty easy grip with my, with my shoes versus like if I was walking on a larger gravel chunks, it might be a little bit more difficult to, to, um, to walk over or tripping hazards. But this is really, really well maintained, really like it's even grade, um, not a lot of ruts, um, yeah. Great. Thank you. Thanks for asking. And right here, yeah, you can see it's pretty wide too. So lots of, lots of room for, for passing people. Um, lots of extra, I think it's about, gosh, it looks about 12 feet wide right here. So kind of varying depending on where you are in the, um, in the loop, but yeah. And that's another cool thing about these ones. I I'm a big fan of loops. I don't like coming back on the same <laughs> on the same path that I started off on. So this is you really do get like a full full experience out here. Um, 
which is great. Abby, and um, have you been out this, out this way before? Yes. You have been out here before. Awesome. Um, what's kind of one of your, what, what have you liked about visiting this ranch before? Oh, she hasn't been to the ranch before, just to Ben. Oh, okay, great, awesome. So maybe, so maybe this is something, would you guys be interested in coming out here? Is this something that would interest you? Or are you guys more, would you prefer like kind of in town stuff? No, this is definitely something that would interest us. So I would just figure out how cool this is. Awesome, awesome. I'm gonna have to figure out my volume thing. I'm not having, I'm having a hard time hearing everyone. Uh, might just be the sound of crushing <laughs> um, walkers, but great. Well, cool. So this is, yeah, this is one of my newfound favorite places. I, what's been really fun with this project is just kind of exploring new areas in town. And I really hadn't, I have a dog, so, you know, I try to, most of my excursions are, are with him, but um, I'm, this is definitely on my on my top favorite list, so I think it's still worth coming out here. Um, it's really peaceful. The last time I visited, I um, just took my time, and it was just a super cool experience to be out here. Um, yeah, and as it's and I what I really like about it too is that it's you know it's fairly easy to mod I would say easy to moderate trails so. Um, maybe the distance would be good, you know, it's a good, um, kind of a, a good challenge, but it's, yeah, it's just a, a really nice kind of walk in, walk in the really cool park. <laughs> um, let's see here. here. I'm hoping, um, I think we're going to get pretty close to checking out that overlook, and I don't want to spoil it for anyone, because I, th I think that but I also think it could be experienced differently on different days, just again, because today is pretty overcast, so we don't have a big view of the mountains. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just, but it might be nice to see a few features about, about that particular overlook, just because it's, um, it kind of goes over the, the canyon. Um, some cool things that you're seeing out, I'm seeing out here right now, it just rained, so I can, like, all of the, I can smell kind of like the fresh dirt and, and all of our, um, all of the sage out here is, like, very potent right now. So, um, I know that we've probably all been experiencing some, some allergies, but they don't, they feel pretty subdued right now just because it just rained and it just smells so good. Um, and here is kind of one other feature I wanted to show, um, watchers and listeners um this this is a connection trail so i'm just gonna stay on the sage loop trail but this is a connection trail it's called robin's run canyon loop and it goes down to here's a couple of folks going down there going down to into the canyon um this is a pretty steep and difficult trail to get through there's some really really big boulders to, to hop down um, but it does go down to a lower loop along the river and connects to the northern section of Tumalo Park. So um, just something to be that, you know, to know of that it's there. Um, it, I would consider it more of a difficult trail again because of, of the big boulder steps um, and the, and the, the steep um, terrain, kind of uneven and, and loose terrain down there, but still a cool area if that's something you want to explore but I'm gonna to stick to this sage flat loop. And um, I think we're kind of getting close to there and I we have a couple more minutes to go explore the, the, that kind of halfway point overlook. Um, and yeah, and then I think we might call it a, call it a morning. But um, again, this is Riley Ranch and it's a newer park. It's developed by the Bend Parks and Rec. So, um, you can always go onto their website as well as visiting um, our website to kind of get a little bit more information about the area. Um, it's a newer, newer development, so they did a really good job, I, I think, of 
um, kind of explaining what it, you know, explaining all the features of the area and develop, developing it so that it can be um, used for, you know, for families and, and for just all different types of users. So um, we're coming. I am gonna, once we get up here, I'm gonna kind of scan and show you in proximity where I am to the um, canyon. And I'm not even, I'm not gonna, let's see here. I'm almost there. So I kind of scan here. You can see there's that wooden, um, it's kind of like a, a deck that's, that's, and if, it's kind of hard to see through the, through the camera, but, um, and what it's looking over, we're right on the edge. We're at the top of, of the Deschutes River Canyon. Can't, I can start, I can hear the river, but I can't see it yet. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a really cool way to come kind of see what's out here and, and get a new perspective. Um, and it's called the Canyon Overlook. Um, but yeah, I would definitely encourage people to come and check it out. The, um, the surface does change a little bit up there. It's wooden, but it's all very smooth, which is nice. And I think really easy to navigate. It's pretty wide and a big open space once you get out onto that deck. Um, and yeah, I think, what else? Um, as far as, um, what I think what's also really cool about this area too is there's not a lot of like hazards either. So you're pretty, um, you're pretty, there's not many obstacles to get over. And um, yeah, it's all relatively, relatively flat and, and easy. So I'm just gonna pull up here and kind of give you a, a, a short sneak peek, but I don't wanna ruin it for you. That's the, the deck and you can go out onto it, look down and look you know, over through the mountains, especially on a clear day. Um, but still a beautiful area and yeah, just another cool feature of this park. Um, and with that, I think I'm gonna wrap it up because um, where we're going, what's kind of back, oops, I'm gonna keep it there. Um, is really similar to what we came on. So again, relatively flat and even um, terrain. And we didn't see any wildlife today. It's probably because there's lots of people out here, but I'm sure if you came early in the morning or maybe late in the evening, you would have, or later in the evening, um, before sunset, you might see some, some activity. Um, but lots of birds and, and yeah, just lots of cool things to see out here. And, and if anything, just a, a really, you know, good place to get some fresh air and and some and yeah um and then with it i'm going to flip this around and just kind of say hello and goodbye to you guys i'm um my again my name is Haley. if you guys have any questions if there's anything that comes up about this trail about previous trails or maybe about um routes that you're looking for in your area um feel free to reach out to me at info at Oregon adaptive sports org and i'd be happy to help you um, yeah, with any questions or any searches, uh, this has been a really fun project. So I'd, I'm super happy to, um, I'd love to help people find some awesome routes around their, their neighborhoods. And then um, I also want to do a, a, a big shout out to Move United for helping, for being a big sponsor of this um, virtual series and, um, and for supporting our, our community. So, um, and with that, uh, thank you so much for joining us, Abby and, and Matt, and, um, and I hope to see you guys at some point. Um, I'm going to stop the recording. Let's see. Thanks, Lily. Bye-bye.